Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to my LEGO city and specifically today I'm in the LEGO Harry Potter area because last week pictures of the new 2019 Harry Potter sets came out. So in this video I'm going to be answering the question that I'm sure a lot of you are wondering. Am I going to have the sets in my city and if so, where are they going? So let's begin. <laughs> So let's begin, but before we begin, I do want to make sure you all know that this is not just a news video covering the new set pictures. If you want to see that, there are plenty of others on YouTube. I'm going to be really talking today about the logistics of which sets I'm going to be getting for this display, because obviously this is where I display all my LEGO Harry Potter stuff. So of course I'm going to have to get the clock tower, and I think the idea with the clock tower is that it's supposed to connect along here with the end of the Whomping Willow structure and you can see I didn't modify that and I actually did a bunch of videos on this display so please be sure to check them out if you haven't already. I think if you're watching this video you're probably going to enjoy them but I think it goes right here like chronologically like for building the castle. So I actually based off the pictures made this little thing here which is just the amount of studs where it would be and this is obviously taking out the dancing portion of that tower just because it's not going to be ideal for the layout. And you can see right there, that is how it's going to look. So just see, it's going to go back far. It's actually going to go back into my amusement park. And then after, like along this section right here, is where I'm going to start Dumbledore's office. And basically just build it along back. And I'm definitely going to have to customize the interiors. All these interiors are actually somewhat customized. I don't think there's any that's 100% true to the set. That might be wrong though. But again, that's in the other video. Next up for the Hagrid's Hut. That seems like a really cool set. It looks really good and I really love Hagrid's Hut set for the minifigures because if you take a look, you not only get Cornelius Fudge, you also get the Executioner who looks so, so good as a Lego minifigure. Really, really love him. And then we also, of course, get Buckbeak, which is just phenomenal. But my biggest problem with the set is actually that it is not closed all the way. You know, if you take a look at this one, it's completely closed. And what's cool is that there was play space where you could open it up. But this is completely closed, so how am I supposed to display a Hagrid's Hut set, assuming I want to replace this one? This is a really good looking cup, by the way. Assuming I want to replace this one, I can't do it without having two of them. So I would have to buy two, but it's a really expensive set. $60 for Hagrid's Hut is wild. I'm still going to buy one. It's probably not going to be a day one purchase, though, mainly because of, you know, it's expensive and I'm going to want to try to get it either on a discount or get a really good gift with the purchase with it. Next up is the Hungarian Horntail set, the Triwizard Challenge. And that one comes with some pretty cool minifigs. It just have some of the minifigs that LEGO currently has down here. So I've got Cedric. It's really going to be cool to get another version of him. Uh, it's one with him wearing robes, which I think is good. And then it will come with Harry and the other two champions. And the cool thing is that the medium sized legs are coming back for this wave of Harry Potter stuff. I hope Harry focuses there, which is just really, really cool. You know, you get the medium sized legs back. I think it should be really good to look at. Should look really good actually. And the Hungarian Horntail, although it's a small build, it's smaller than other people wanted or expected, which is fine to me because the cool thing is that if it's small, you're going to be able to, you know, just wrap it around this, you know, wrap it around because it's going to be a small dragon. So you can wrap it around your towers just like this or something, which is really good. And it's going to be really useful, you know, for recreating scenes. So I'm actually glad they made it somewhat of a smaller set and a smaller dragon. The only thing I really dislike with that set is that the tent is tan because there's just so much other tan in this display. Now the tent's not going to be up all the time, obviously, but it is just, there's a lot of tan and it's just something to think of. The next set is the night bus. And I actually am not going to be getting that set because I already have a night bus. I have the 2011 night bus right here. I'll just bring that up into frame over here where there's more lighting. I have the night bus and it's a really, really good set. The minifigure selection in the new set is really what turns the set off for me, you know? Because there's nothing new, you know, I already have these two guys, Stan and Ernie, and then also the shrunken head down there. I don't know how well you can see that. That's actually a pretty good angle. I have a shrunken head already. I have Harry. I have a bunch of purple bricks. So yeah, I'm not going to be getting the new night bus. This one is perfectly fine. I'm perfectly happy with this night bus. So yeah, I'm kind of disappointed by that set. I mean, they don't even include a dog for Sirius. So I mean, come on. 
But speaking of serious, my favorite set in the wave is without a doubt Expecto Patronum. It looks amazing. It's so good. The minifigures are what really makes it. I mean, I have a ton of Harry Potter minifigures, obviously. You guys can see them all down there. And if you want to see this whole display, I did a close video tour of it in my city update. So check that out. You guys might not have seen that since it wasn't its own separate thing. But I love the love, love the minifigs in that other set. In Expecto Patronum. It's so good. So, so good. They look so good. It might be the nicest Lego set ever produced. And then I also have more trees to put into my forest down here, which I think would be a really good thing, you know. Just to have more. It's small builds, but it looks good. And the Patronus deer is phenomenal. It looks amazing. So, so happy with that. And then the only other set included is the advent calendar, which I am definitely going to get. I think it's going to be fun to open and build throughout the days. Um, really excited. And the minifig selection's alright. You know, there aren't any really exclusive minifigures, except for the architect, I believe it is. Which is going to be cool, because he's not even on the box, so I don't know what he looks like. And I'm really glad that we're getting different versions of the ones that are included, it looks like. You know, like Harry down here, there's going to be the Harry with the Weasley Christmas sweater, and that's just really cool. It's really good. So that's going to be it for this video. LEGO is doing phenomenal with LEGO Harry Potter stuff. They really are. And I can't express that enough, and I can't express how much I'm glad that they're still doing it. So like I said, the whole display is going to have to be moved back, which is going to be interesting, something new, but something I hope you all enjoy watching. That's going to be it for this video, though. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all again in my next video. Yeah.